What's going on guys? So what we're going to be going over today is all the costs associated with selling on Amazon and kind of a breakdown of the kind of costs you'll see when talking to suppliers and what to expect when buying a product um, just so you don't encounter any hidden costs because a lot of these I had no idea when I started selling even after watching tons of YouTube videos because no one ever brought it up. Um, so I'm kind of break it down, show you the exact numbers of one of the products I just started and what it looks like so you guys can kind of see it and when you do it for yourself you won't be surprised at all with any of the fees or anything. So of course there's the basic fees which I get asked a lot so it's $40 a month to be an Amazon seller and that's the only fee. That's all you'll get and then of course um, Amazon takes a percentage but we'll go over that in this. So let's say we're talking to a supplier, we found a product that sells well using Jungle Scout and we're looking to start that product, we talked to suppliers, we negotiated a price per unit. Um, I'm going to kind of show you how um, the payments break down for a different product. So usually when I start my first product, um, I'll, try, I'll do like a trial batch of 250 to 500 units. Um, I put this on the high end so you guys can kind of see that you really don't need that much money to start this. Um, in this example, it's about $1,400, but that's 500 units. You could cut that in half. So you can really start with 750, 1,000. I would definitely have at least 750 though to start. And if you don't have that right now, go watch my videos on retail arbitrage. If you have $100, $200, you can probably build up to that in two or three months doing that while learning how to sell on Amazon at the same time. So for this product, I contact my supplier, I got a price, and I kind of broke it down for you guys. So this is for 500 units of a product so in total for that the supplier told me it would be $900 which breaks down to a dollar eighty a unit and for those who don't know what a unit is because I do get asked that question it's just one one piece of a product so one product so it's one eighty for that product per unit and then they said okay if you want to add your logo to it it's gonna be another ten cents now this was really cheap I normally encounter 50 cents to add my logo, but this supplier was different for some reason. And some some will have like a minimum order quantity, like, oh, you have to order 500 or 1,000 if you want to put your label on it because they have to make a mold for you or print it differently. So 10 cents for that, add a label. So what's a label? So when you are selling on Amazon, you need a UPC code. You just need the number. And that's not what you send to your supplier. You put that in your Amazon listing, and Amazon will give you an Amazon label which is just that barcode but then with the name of your product and a different number under it and that is what you send to your supplier to put on each unit now if you don't want to do this Amazon will do it for you but they charge 20 cents a unit which I'll show you in a little so 10 cents for that 10 cents for adding the label now shipping since we're going from China this product was pretty light it was only half a pound and about this big in a box not even so it was really cheap to ship normally you're normally looking at mm, probably about the same price per unit so normally it's shipping it was it turned out to be 61 cents a unit but normally it would be over a dollar dollar fifty ish um, if you have like a product that's one pound and decent size fits in a shoebox normally expect the same cost as the product and then I like to use PayPal uh, just because it's easiest. Uh, I don't have to go through my bank at all, which internationally they will charge fees. But Amazon, uh, PayPal does charge a 5% fee. So your supplier will tell you that and make you pay 5% higher. But PayPal is very safe. You can get your money back if you get screwed. Um, I've never been screwed over by a supplier. Um, they've all been great. And I've worked with six or seven different ones. So that's not really something I worry about, but I just feel comfortable using PayPal just in case. So that's just part of selling one of the fees for me. And then I kind of broke it down into the total. So total for 500 units was $1,370.25. And my cost per unit, so this number divided by 500, came out to $274. So then this is kind of how I'll keep track of my products and check if they're profitable after doing research and finding one that sells well. So I say, okay, after looking at this product, I want to sell mine at $19.99. Okay, so this product sells for 
Each unit shipped all in with all these costs is 274. So that's what I have here. And now Amazon takes a referral fee, which is just 15% of the sale price, so $3. Now keep in mind, I've said this before, if your 15% doesn't add up to at least $1, Amazon will charge you $1 or 15%, whichever is higher. So if you're selling a product for $5, um, your 15% is obviously under a dollar. They'll charge you a dollar minimum. So that's why it's not really beneficial to sell really cheap products. That's why I kind of stay above $15. And then we have the fulfillment fee, also called like the FBA fee. So this is for Amazon to hold your product, ship it for you, and do your customer service um, when someone orders your product. This means you don't do anything. I ship the products there. If one sells, Amazon does everything, packages up, labels it, ships it to the person. I don't do anything. So that's the fee for that. Um, usually, if you have a product that's a pound or less and fits in a shoebox, your fee will be under $4. Usually, 3 to 4 is pretty normal for all my products. Now, here's the labeling fee I was talking about earlier. If you want Amazon to label it, it will cost you 20 cents a unit. Now, most suppliers will do this for 10 or 15 cents. Mine did it for 10 cents a unit, which is cheaper than 20 cents. So why would I not have them do it? That just saved me 50 bucks overall since I ordered 500 units. So for me, this fee will be zero since I already paid my supplier to do it right here. So that's why that's zero, but it would be 20 cents if I did not. Now, storage fee. So just for every product, no matter what, Amazon charges 40 cents to hold it period, and then if you go past six months of that same unit uh, being in there, they'll charge you a long-term storage fee, which depends on the square footage of your product and holding it, but I never get charged that because my units move faster, so I never have one of the same unit in a warehouse for over six months. I only like to hold one to two months of inventory. And then, so we just add up all of these right here to get our total cost per unit, if we sell at the price of $19.99, and it comes out to $9.16, which is great. We spend $2.74 a unit, that's what comes out. After we sell it, these fees come out right here, and then we get a profit of $10.83 a unit. Now that's fantastic for how cheap this product was. This is one of my better products because I can get 1,000 units for $2,500, and make $10 on each of them so I can, more so, I can get four times my money back uh, for only spending $2,500. I'll get $10,000 back if I bought 1,000 units in profit. So this is kind of how it breaks down. These are kind of all the fees you can expect to see. And they'll take it out of your account. Like as soon as your units get in, you do get hit with the storage fee about a week or two after they get in, even if you haven't sold any yet. So it's something to be aware of. So for this, it would be it would be two hundred dollars for me for storage fees, um, and I'll get hit right like a week or two after the product gets in, and that'll be queued um, to be taken out of my account or what I get paid um, the next two weeks because Amazon pays you every two weeks, and you can see it on the Amazon seller page. And you can check, be like, okay, these are the fees I'm getting. Um, and just different things, see what you're going to get paid. And I'll probably do a breakdown of that in the next video, how returns work if someone returns it. Um, all the fees Amazon takes out of your seller account, which are pretty much here, but it's nicer to see in form. And how to deal with um, get them taking money out if you do advertising with them, which again will be a separate video. An in-depth advertising will be in my course. Um, I'll probably do a very basic overview on my YouTube channel, but the course will go through all of this as well. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. I've been getting a lot uh, asking about the fees, how much money you need to start. Uh, with my course, people want to know like all in what they need. I would say 750 bucks for your product, 497 for my course, which will be out in about a week, and I'd say... $80 to have two months of Amazon selling at least because you should be making a profit after a month So you don't have to worry about that, but I have two just in case. So what is that? Let's see so 750 for a product 
four ninety seven for my course and eighty dollars to sell on Amazon. So you're looking right about eleven and twelve. About $1,300 to start all in, to learn how to do it, to get your first product, and to be able to sell on Amazon for a couple months. And then you can reinvest that profit. That's what I did. I started with about $1,500 and just reinvested all the profits I made. And after a couple months, I was able to take money out while still reinvesting some of it. And that's grown to where I am today. So that's going to be all for this video, guys. Let me know if you have any questions or any comments on this. And feel free to send me a message on any of my social medias. And please subscribe.